This is a follow-up video to my previous video that showed how to set up Raspberry Pi to communicate with Pixhawk using Mavlink and Mavproxy. Now in this video I'm going to take that a step further. We're going to run DroneKit on Raspberry Pi and then just do a simple Python script to command the DroneKit simulator running on my Mac to basically take off and land. And as you guys know, it's very important that we always test software on the bench before we go to the field and run this on our expensive aerial platforms. Before I get started with the walkthrough, I want to show the different components involved. So we have Raspberry Pi currently powered by Pixhawk. Now it's not gonna be doing any communication initially. We're just using the wireless network to be able to communicate with DroneKit Simulator running on my Mac. Then here in the back, I have my Android tablet, which is going to be running Tower. It's on the same network. We're going to use Map Proxy to communicate to it. It will basically display telemetry information from the simulator while Pixhawk is sending commands to it. So I hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the setup. The two commands will run. We're going to install DroneKit on Raspberry Pi and then DroneKit Simulator or software in the loop on Mac. Now these are already both installed on my system. Just know that these are the commands that you'll want to run. We'll start with running software in the loop on the actual computer on my Mac. So you can see that I'm going to run DroneKit software in the loop, give it the copter firmware and set the home location to my flying field. I'll go ahead and run this command. You can see that it's initializing software in the loop and currently waiting for a connection. Now here's the somewhat tricky part that took me a while to figure out. I have the simulator running here in this tab. I'm going to open a new tab and what we're going to do is use Map Proxy. So Map Proxy is going to connect on port 5760. That's the port that our simulator is running on. And then it's basically going to forward information to some additional IP addresses and ports. In this case, the 10.0.1.20 will be my Android tablet running tower, and this 10.0.1.21 will be Raspberry Pi. So those don't actually have to have an app running currently. All it will do is forward information from DroneKit Simulator to these two devices and wait for them to connect. Now let me demonstrate this on my Android tablet. This is tower, you can see down here, we have our different connection parameters. I'm gonna specify UDP. And for the server port, we'll just leave the default of that 14550. If you remember on our map proxy command, that was the port that we used. So information is currently being forwarded to my tablet. But now all we need to do is connect. Connected, mode stabilized. And you can hear that it's connected and receiving information from the simulator. I'll do a quick demonstration of the communication between the two. So here we have stabilized mode by default. I'm gonna to switch to acro. Mode acrobatic. And if you look at map proxy running down here, you can see that it's changed to acro. So just to demonstrate again, I'll switch back to stabilize. Mode stabilized. And you can see that it updates in map proxy here. The next thing we'll do is run a basic script on Pi using DroneKit. This is a little gist I'm sharing. It's a Python script called Takeoff and Land. I'll put a link to it below. But if you look through it, it's, it's pretty simple to follow. You can see that there's a connecting to vehicle and we can connect over serial port IP address. So when we get to the field to do this test, we'll actually connect over the serial port. It does some basic pre-arm checks. And then you can see here that it'll take off to a target altitude. Down here we say 20 meters. Then we hover for 10 seconds and then it'll land. So we'll do this in the simulator with tower hooked up. You can see how it works. And then in the field, we'll run this same script and demonstrate that in an upcoming video. First thing I need to do is actually connect to my Pi. So I'm gonna SSH in. It's uh, 10.0.1.21. That'll vary based on your network. The default password for Pi is Raspberry. Okay, we're in. 
And now I have this little Python directory with a few scripts I've been playing around with, but this takeoff and land is the one that we just saw in GitHub. So what I'll do now is if we remember map proxy is forwarding to the IP address of the Pi, that's 10.0.1.21. This was where we ran map proxy, and we're going to connect. And at the same time, I have tower connected. Let me just go ahead and center on the aircraft location. So that's where the simulator has us placed. That's one of my places that I like to fly. Here, I'll go ahead and execute our script with the Python command. You can see it's connecting. You should hear tower echo back the flight mode here shortly. We're going to switch to guided mode. Mode guided, arm, waypoints received. Now I'll just show you this because we will see the altitude start to increase 20 meters is roughly 60 to 70 feet. And then it should hover for 10 seconds and then it'll proceed to land. Mode land. That land mode has now been executed and you can see that tower is then echoing back the altitude. And you can see over here the land mode is selected. Looking at our script, you can see that it says takeoff complete, now let's land. These are all statements in the script. Now you will notice an exception down here. I have noticed just through my testing over the past several months that DroneKit still has some bugs, so you can definitely try to catch your exceptions as well as get involved with the community and give feedback to the DroneKit team. The last thing that I'll say as it relates to DroneKit not being fully baked and tested, there's a lot of engineering going into it, but just always remember that you will have a flight mode switch on your transmitter, have that ready to take over into a mode that you're comfortable with, stabilize, Loiter or whatever, you can always toggle out of this if something is wrong with your code. But obviously it's important to test in the drone kit simulator. That's what we're doing here and that's what I wanted to demonstrate before we get to the field. Now just as a final demonstration, I don't actually know what this is gonna do. I'm going to, instead of connecting over my network, I'm going to connect to the serial port, which is currently where my Pi and Pixhawk are connected. So you can see def serial zero. Let's just see what it does. So we can see that it's trying to connect. I have APM copter running on it. And what I gather will happen is it won't allow us to arm because all the calibration has not been done. Yeah, so you can see here that it's saying waiting for vehicle to initialize. Just wanted to see what would happen. So what I'm gonna do next is get this Pixhawk installed in a quadcopter and we'll go to the field and run that script. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.